morning everybody what's up how are you all doing welcome back to another daily vlog guys and welcome back to another day in my life guys i've missed saying that because i haven't vlogged in a couple of days as i told you guys because we've been so hectic moving out like take a look behind me guys we have literally got no house left but all the furniture has been moved guys the soap has gone everything is literally gone guys it's just been crazy the last couple of days it's been a hectic couple of weeks guys since we've been back from traveling but anyway start off this morning i've got something awesome to open up in this video and i also want to start by explaining this guys explaining this so many of you have been asking me nick is it a real tattoo and whilst i was at cyprus as you guys know last month i went to cyprus traveling i was this close of getting a tattoo guys like, i went to the tattoo parlor i was this close of getting it and then my mum said you're not doing it don't you dare do it my mom said if i'd done it she would have killed me guys so i couldn't get a tattoo but i'm gonna get one very soon guys in the next couple of weeks i'm flying over to amsterdam guys and i'm gonna be staying there for a couple of weeks vlogging and doing a couple of business stuff so i've got some freelance work to do over in amsterdam guys which i'll explain to you about very soon it's quite a big like meeting for me basically i've got to meet up with a couple of people in amsterdam like a couple of other business people just do a bit of work for them guys so as you guys know i do freelancing work now even i do youtube full time in my spare time at home i literally just sit on my bed and do freelance work and people pay me to do edits for them but as i was just explaining this is not a real tattoo guys this is just a temporary tattoo before i get my real one but i got the tattoo guys try pranking my mum but it completely failed i tried to prank my mum guys by coming home and going mum i got a tattoo and the reason why it kind of failed is because she knew that i wouldn't have been able to cut it in the space at the time i'd done it because i wanted to get it three days before we left cyprus and when we came back to london guys in the uk two days later i said to mum i've got a tattoo and she's like i know it's fake at first she was kind of apprehensive like she was like yeah she could be real and she came over and touched it she's like i know that's fake guys this was the funniest thing guys i pranked all of the people who have me on snapchat i pranked each and every single one of you by telling you it was a real tattoo and all of you were like oh my god i can't believe he's done it and all of that it was so funny to see how many people i actually pranked i pranked so many of you but a couple of you actually got it right saying i know it's not real nick it does look pretty sick though but anyway this morning as i was explaining guys I've had an awesome, basically the last couple of weeks where I've been away and stuff and haven't had time to do this. The last thing I've had sent to me, this is not in paid endorsement by the way guys, but the last time I've had a company send me something for completely free was I think back to when I got given that phone case. And the reason why I haven't been doing more of these is because I've been literally so, so busy. I've been busy with the vlogs and with traveling and all that, that I haven't had time to do it guys. But I've been collabing with a lot more companies now. So another company sent me another thing guys. So let's see what they sent me today. Some products for completely free. And this company is called, I think, Roca, Roca, I can't actually pronounce this, guys, but that's the name of it. I can't, I need to be careful, my dress is not on here. No, my dress is not on here, but that's the name of it, if you guys can see. Roca, I think that is right, Roca Watches, yeah, it sounds right, guys, Roca Watches, but this is what they said, they said, hi, mate. Just a letter to say thank you so much for promoting our product on your YouTube channel and on all of your other social media. We are a small, self-funded company and have big ideas and big plans for the future. I like that, guys, very determined companies that believe in themselves and their and their brand. And I, and I told you guys that before, before you can promote things, you have to believe in yourself and your abilities, and this is what this company's doing, so that makes me happy, guys. Get this open now, very nice box to send it in. Let's see what they sent me, guys. Oh, that does look pretty nice. Look at that. That does look quite nice, guys. You've got to admit, that does look actually pretty sick. Oh, let's try this on. That does look pretty nice. It is a really nice watch, guys. Take a look at that. That is pretty nice, to be honest. Cool. And then that's the bottom of it as well, guys. The bottom is made of pure leather. Bottom of it. Well, not the actual watch, obviously, but I'm saying that the strap is pure leather, guys. So, guys, if you want to get hold of these, I'm going to be wearing this a lot more. Obviously, I've got my tag watch, but this, for the time being, I've, I actually wanted a watch where I could just wear it around for a bit. Let's actually put this on. I wanted to watch where I could basically wear it in a vlog because I don't really wear my other watch a lot because it, it, it's quite expensive, guys, and I'm so done with things, I probably would break it. So I don't really wear my other watch quite a lot, to be honest. I only wear it occasionally. Yeah, I like that, guys. That is pretty nice, to be honest. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty nice, guys. Look, if you want one of these watches, you can get a promo code from me. All you have to do is go down below in the description, guys. That, that will take you straight to their Instagram and straight to the page. Go to the page, guys, and buy this watch. And if you want to get a promotion code, my promotion code, guys, by using my discount code, all it is is capital R, capital K, and 20. So it's RK20, guys. All one word, capital R, capital K, 20, RK20. Use that discount code, and that will give you 20% off, guys, and free delivery. As I was explaining earlier, I just want to explain it in a bit more depth for you, that I just explained that I'm going to Amsterdam on the 6th of July, around about the 6th or the 9th of July, guys. And the reason why I'm going to Amsterdam as I explain is because you guys know we're moving out very soon. We're meant to be moving out tomorrow on Friday, but my mum is going for an operation tomorrow, as I explained about, guys, 
was t in, in tomorrow's video, but yeah, it's nothing serious, it's nothing bad. It's literally just an operation just for our own like personal things that I won't explain why. The reason why I'm moving to Amsterdam is because my mum, we're, we're gonna be living here to the end of our house. The, the new house we're meant to be moving into, guys, is not done yet. It's meant to be done by t Friday, by the end of the month, which is obviously tomorrow, guys. It's meant to be done by then, but the house is nowhere near done it, and it, it's gonna take another four weeks. So instead of me staying in the UK, guys, and being bored at my wits, you guys know my sister currently moves to Amsterdam with her boyfriend, so I'm debating whether I'm gonna go and move to Amsterdam, guys, for a couple of weeks because I need to go over there anyway and do a bit of business as I just explained that I've got some other things out there that I need to do some freelance work that is over in Amsterdam, guys, and it would be an uh, uh, awesome opportunity for me to go over there and take that on board, guys, like some freelance work over in Amsterdam and by the same time making daily vlogs over there, which would just be pretty incredible. So I'm debating whether I should go over there or stay here, guys. If you think I should go over there and take on the opportunity, guys, because I know I really want it, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. If you think I should go, guys, comment down below and let me know if you think I should just move to Amsterdam for four weeks, three or four weeks, guys. If you think I should do it, I know it's crazy, but if you think I should, guys, let me know. So if you can guess right, this has been my editing space for the last week, guys, because my desk that used to be over there has been packed up because we're moving out. All the furniture's gone, basically. I've had to stand up like this for almost two and a half hours. That's how long my edits are. Like this, getting it crippled back, and I feel like the content that I'm producing is not good because the desk, and it might sound so stupid, guys, but I read a very true quote on the internet that is very true, guys, and the quote said, if your editing space is messy and if your desk is messy, then your content you create is also messy and not to the best of your abilities. And that is very true, guys. I felt like that because I'm rushing to get the edit done because my back's hurt and I feel like the edit's not as good as it could be. So I just cannot wait to start on this ultimate editing series, guys, where I'm building the ultimate editing space in my new house. So tomorrow, guys, I've got a guy. This is Albert. I just found out my bed. So he left it in my room because he was playing the PS4. That's obviously behind me, guys. But as I was literally just talking about, you guys know that before I went on holiday, I basically broke my Apple Mac. And for those of you who didn't know, I spilled water in it during when I was sleeping at night. And I didn't realise it. And when I woke up in the morning, my cup of water was all over the keyboard and the computer was fried from the inside. You know, for those of you who watched the vlog, you know that I went to Apple and sent it off and basically to fix it, it was going to cost me £800, but then I had insurance, which knocked it down to £350. £350 is still very expensive, but because it's water damaged, Apple can't give you a new one, basically, guys. And I was so pissed about it and so annoyed about it. I lost £350 from a stupid incident that happened at night, but I learned my lesson never to put a drink next to my bed again. So what I'm just trying to tell you is, tomorrow I've got to go and pick that up from Apple tomorrow morning. So I cannot wait to get my laptop back and I can edit comfortably in my bed as I was just talking about downstairs it's uncomfortable editing there but when I get my laptop back I can edit in my nice comfortable bed which I'm looking forward to guys talk about that Mac thing so many of you guys have been asking me Nick how the hell do you edit 4k footage onto a tiny MacBook Pro 12 inch onto a tiny MacBook 12 inch guys and the reason how I do that is because basically what I do is, is I proxy, I do this thing called proxy guys. What it does is it basically tricks Premiere to thinking that the 4K footage is 720p. So it tricks it into thinking that so it doesn't lag. So I do the full edit in 720p, but the actual footage when you go to render, when you go to export it is in 4K. But I first started doing it, I did, I never done that when I first started so I was getting terrible lag and the videos wasn't going up on time and it was taking almost 20 hours to upload a video which was crazy but learn about this from YouTube videos because I've just done a bit of education and I've done a bit of research learn about it and I found out about the proxy edit thing which obviously shrinks it down and it kind of tricks Premiere into thinking that it's not 4k so that's how I managed to edit 4k videos on a MacBook. Messy rooms I need to actually tidy this room up a bit guys it's an absolute state I need to do that now. Right there guys, it's literally what we've been doing all week. So guys, I know today's video hasn't been that productive, like I haven't really done much in it, but literally today I haven't really done much. I've just been sorting out my bedroom and sorting out some crap right behind me as I showed you guys earlier with all the boxes and stuff piled up. Got an early start tomorrow guys as well. Literally tomorrow t tomorrow morning we've got to go and bring all the stuff from the story and we've got to collect some stuff from the stories and move it into where we're going and all that stuff. Obviously I can't show the new house as of yet guys because I want it to be a massive surprise when we move into the brand new house which it should be about at least a month's time or hopefully less than a month's fingers crossed guys I believe in a lot of things but i also believe that dreams shouldn't be called dreams and that dreams should be called a possibility dreams should not be called dreams and they should be called a possibility guys no dream for me is impossible because if you can visualize it and if, if you have the time and and enough dedication and enough energy and drive inside you to go and pursue that dream then it no longer becomes a dream as soon as you set upon that path 
the day you open your eyes and realize what I want to do with my life and you come out of what society is telling you to do, of what the system is telling you to do, as soon as you take that step out, you can almost say step out of the universe, guys. As soon as you take that step out of the universe, you'll realize why am I following the system? Why am I doing the same thing on Recycle over and over again, guys? I'm not happy. No, I'm not. I, and I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. No. Then change it. How you can change that, guys, is as I said, start upon that path. And once you do that, from the day one you start, your dream no longer becomes a dream. The universe, the law of attraction, will start to make that dream not even become a dream anymore. It would make it become a reality. It would make it become a possibility. It would make it become real. And that's what's happened to me, guys. My dream started upon just this thing. You can say just this thing in the air. And over the year I've been doing it, it's gradually coming closer and closer and closer to me. I'm still not there yet. I'm still learning, developing each and every single day. But I will get there, guys. And I will smash this dream out of the flipping window. And I know I can do it with you amazing people and with my heart of a lion. And I can get there, guys. That's what I want you guys to do. I want you to take a second throughout the next couple of days or throughout the next week or forever when you get just that split second. I want to visualize what you want to do in your life for those of you who already know fantastic keep on pursuing it keep on grinding and keep on going to chasing it but for those of you who are still unsure and still going i don't know what i want to do just take that hour out of your day go for a walk or get out and just think what do i want to do what am i passionate about what do i love and enjoy doing and what do i want to achieve in with my life visualize it and then the next day you know what you want to do wake up the next morning set upon your path and as soon as you tread up as soon as you open your eyes and do that as i told you the law of attraction will make your dream less of a dream and more of a reality i'm going to finish the video here now guys because i'm tired so if you have enjoyed this video guys you know what to do smash it with a thumbs up for me like you do every single day anyway guys but smash the video with a thumbs up blow it up destroy it. i don't care what you do to it just don't forget to be yourself guys because you're all beautiful you're all amazing i love each and every single one of you just the way you are you're one of a kind guys be you just keep smiling just keep being positive and keep being yourself because everybody else is already taken